this baby was successfully born using three different people's DNA. Oh yeah, and not just one baby, but eight. This groundbreaking study published in the New England Journal of Medicine represents the first of its kind study using this revolutionary IVF technique to protect these babies from inheriting deadly mitochondrial diseases from their mothers. Mitochondrial mutations are no joke. Since mitochondria are the powerhouses of every cell, when they fail, pretty much everything else fails, from your muscles to your brain. Right now, one in 5,000 babies are born with a mitochondrial mutation. For families that are carrying these genetic mutations, having healthy biological children has felt nearly impossible until now. So how the heck did they do it? Because it's definitely not as easy as making the Powerpuff Girls a little bit of sugar, spice, and everything nice. Although how amazing would it be if it was? Here's how they actually did it. What you're looking at is a video of what I'm actually about to explain to you. So scientists take 99.9% .9 of DNA from both parents, just like a normal baby, but add 0.1% of DNA from a donor female egg. They then extract the nuclear DNA from the mother's fertilized egg and then transplant it into the donor egg who has the healthy mitochondria. The result, a baby with all the genetic traits of their parents, but with healthy mitochondria. It's so wild to think about. It's like getting a genetic organ transplant before birth, but this isn't new. Creating three parent babies became legal in the UK back in 2015, but this is just the first successful study. So far, all eight babies ranging from newborns to two-year-olds are all healthy and hitting developmental milestones. There are three babies that have some mutations up to 20%, but this is well below the 80% threshold needed to actually cause disease. Honestly, it's incredible that this study was even done given that research involving children is incredibly rare and heavily regulated, which it should be. As a result, this study has been more than 20 years in the making. The scientific community emphasizes continued monitoring to validate this technique, but what makes this so groundbreaking is consistent success across multiple babies. Overall, this is an exciting milestone. For families who have watched generations suffer from incurable diseases, this offers something that seemed impossible, the chance for healthy biological children. If you like science we're sharing like this, then follow us everywhere at Today Learn Science at T-I-L Science.